Dwight Gale has left Stoke and is currently a free agent. That is according to transfer insider Fabrizio Romano, who reports Gale, 34, has terminated his contract with the Potters. The striker joined the championship club in 2022 and is leaving with three goals and six assists in 50 appearances under his belt. The Walthamstow star fell down the pecking order this season and only managed a mere one assist in 14 appearances. Gale burst onto the scene in 2013 when he became Crystal Palace's record signing for £4. Five million having impressed with Peterborough. The centre-forward went on to amass a total of 25 goals and three assists in 74 appearances during his three-year stint at Palace. Read more on Football Power Up Get £40 in free football bet builder bets when you stake £10 with Paddy Power Poor Play Spanish TV host reveals she kicked La Liga star out of bed after he bit her face that led to a move to Newcastle, who saw him as the club's next big star during a trying time. Gale moved to St. James Park for £10 million and helped fire the Magpies back to the Premier League with a stellar return of 23 goals in 32 games in the Championship. But he couldn't hold down a place or find consistent form in the Prem for the Toon. And so he was loaned out to West Brom for the 2018-19 season and was top goalscorer during their run to the playoffs. Most read in football trophy Haaland City make transfer decision with Haaland yet to agree terms on New Deal GAS addict Prem star becomes first ace to go to rehab for addiction to illegal laughing gas met its match FIFA World Cup 2026 final stadium revealed as fans rage at worst option crisis palace consider sacking Hodgson but top candidates reluctant to take over casino special. Best Casino welcome offers Gale managed a total of 24 goals and 8 assists in 41 appearances for the Baggies. After three more unspectacular seasons on Tyneside he returned to the championship with Stoke in 2022. The biggest January flop signings in Premier League history Gale could entice both Rangers and Celtic but he would still likely command a fair wage.